But when I read this book, somehow it's like the light came on. And I became a student uh, of both uh, writing and um, history. Glenn Conley, after intensely researching the memoir of Ann Moody, authored an abstract which has gained the attention of scholars throughout the nation. He is one of several men incarcerated at Wilkinson County Correctional Facility who were inspired by the Ann Moody History Project, an initiative begun by facility staff members dedicated to bringing the legacy of late civil rights activist Ann Moody to life. The group's efforts have resulted in many honors bestowed upon Ann, as well as nationwide recognition. Their initiative and their um, foresight is what propelled this project into the limelight so that Ann Moody can get the, the recognition she deserves. It's a community service project that involves not just the staff, but it involves the men who are incarcerated here. Because at the time that we live in still, there's, there's still problems between everybody, whether it's racial or, or whatever kind of discrimination there is. And it's ridiculous. It's, it's 2019. It's time to move on. The Ann Moody History Project members assisted the men to form a book club where they studied Ann Moody's memoir. They facilitated a program on site with artwork and other contributions provided by the incarcerated men. These men are as gifted, are as intelligent, they are as talented as anybody in the free world. And so if we can help them use the gifts that they were born with or the gifts that they've been given, they can find fulfillment. They can change their behavior. They can see things in themselves they didn't see before. My objective is to become a Moody Scholar. I want to learn about her in a way that whenever her name comes up, you know, my name will come up and someone will say, hey, ask that guy, he knows all about her. I have to admit, I, I haven't heard of anything quite like this before, but it's invigorating. It, it, it's, it, it shows promise uh, and that this could be a stepping stone for something greater for, for, those, for, those, uh, for those men that are there. But however, it's, it, it's, it's a broader context. It's broader than that. My main goal, my long-term goal with this project is to hopefully bring a sense of harmony and unity between people of various groups.